What's going on everyone? Lucky here and today we're going to be taking a look at patch 7.4 for the Battle Royale uh, section of the patch notes. Um, and uh, boy, do we do we have a lot of stuff to cover in this one. Lots of changes uh, for better or for worse. Well, I'll give you my opinion on, on that. Uh, patch is out uh, today, February 14th, so happy Valentine's Day to all you people that celebrate Valentine's Day. Um, so yeah, let's jump into it. Battle Royale, what's new? Um, there is a share, hashtag share the love, Valentine's surprise. The response we've seen with share the love event has been amazing. Um, everyone who completes 13 free overtime challenges by February 27th will receive the upco upcoming Season 8 Battle Pass for free. If you don't have an outfit, now is your chance to get several for free. With the Battle Pass, you receive two Season 8 Outfits instantly, and you can get earned up to five more. Save your three bucks. This one's on us. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I don't know what the uh, Valentine's surprise or the whatever it is, the overtime challenges are. I haven't been on the game recently, not going to lie, uh, this past week. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty neat. Uh, yeah, that's uh, interesting. Uh, so, gifting, limited time. Gifting is back for limited time starting February, uh, starting now to February 22nd. And for Valentine's Day, you can send the... Heart span glider to your special someone for free until Friday, February 15th. Pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Uh, obviously, this patch, we've got the introduction of the infantry rifle. Take aim, deliver accurate fire downrange with the precise semi-automatic weapon. Um, then we have limited time mode rotations, um, which was mentioned in my last note, patch notes video, that they'd be rotating limited time modes. Uh, limited time mode catch. Uh, this mode, all guns have been removed. So it's just um, throwables. Uh, interesting. I don't know how that's going to work. It's probably going to be very frustrating trying to kill somebody. It's going to be more based off of just... I don't know. I don't know how much skill will go into that, but who knows. Um, I'm not really going to go into the details of that mode. There's so much to cover, guys. I'm going to kind of go over, just re quickly review some things. Uh, limited time mode, Team Rumble, which has already been in rotation before. Uh, overtime challenges and reward looking to earn a free season 8 battle pass starting with the release of 7.4 complete 13 free overtime challenges by february 27th to receive the up uh, uh, upcoming season 8 battle pass for free my bad just tripped over my own words there additionally unlock five new rewards including the valentine wrap the vines contrail for completing these challenges and for the current battle pass owners the overtime challenge rewards will include new unlockable styles for the trog uh powder and onesie outfit that's pretty cool uh i i respect that i respect the them adding these things and and offering this for season eight basically <laughs> i'm not gonna mention any games that are out right now but uh i feel like this is in response to get people to come back and play their game right now over a certain game called apex um uh, not gonna jump into that i have a video that i want to post uh, my thoughts on how Apex actually is a good thing for Fortnite, and this is actually probably a good thing in response to Fortnite and in response to Apex as well. This is exactly what I'm talking, what I'll talk about in that video. Anyways, moving on, weapons and items, uh, infantry rifle available in common, uncommon, and rare variants deals 41, 43, 45 damage with a two times headshot multiplier. Can be found for floor loot, chest, and vending machines. Uses medium ammo. Fires quick moving projectiles without damage fall off. Pretty interesting. Uh, so they made some improvements to the bush consumable. Now absorbs one instance of weapon damage before being removed from the owner. Fall damage will not remove the bush. Pretty cool. Uh, so basically, if you get shot while in the bush, that first shot will be absorbed. Um, so if it's a sniper shot, pretty cool. Uh, it'll, obviously, the bush will disappear, but no one can really sni one hit snipe you in the bush now, which I guess pretty interesting. It gives more use for the bush. Uh, now, translucent uh, for the bush wear only in order to allow for better visibility in surroundings. Uh, the hand cannon, epic rarity, they basically reduced the uh, uh, environmental damage uh, from 150 to 100, and then 157 to 105. Pretty good. Needed it. No more uh, deagle spam on builds. I mean, you'll still see it. It still does decent damage, but, you know, it's not going to be as popular. Um, rocket launcher. This is huge. Shifted availability of rocket launchers out of chests and into supply drops. Removed rocket launchers from 
chest. Increase the chance of receiving a rocket launcher from supply drops from 25% to 50%. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I've just so much rocket spam, you know, the last couple weeks that I was playing the game, like just so much rocket spam and and, and this is that's huge. Uh, the reload speed increased from 2.66 to 3.4 on the epic rarity now only available from vending machines legendary rarity reload speed increased from 2.52 to 3.24 so they've increased the reload speed good needed to happen so less it cuts down on rocket spam already and the only way you can get a purple rocket launcher is through a vending machine legendary variant you could get probably from a vending machine as well and definitely through supply drops so the unvaulted clingers the crossbow, limited time item. I love the crossbow. I was very sad to see him get rid of it. It was a skill weapon, in my opinion. Very fun to use. Very rewarding if you hit those shots. Uh, epic rarity, infinite ammo, body shots. Uh, 79, headshot 197. Can be found in floor loot and chest. Does one environmental damage. And they vaulted grenades. Very interesting that they chose to bring out clingers and vaulted grenades. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I'd rather just have kept clingers vaulted and left the grenades in the game but who knows uh fix an issue causing projectile weapons to fire inaccurately when aiming at other players from very close range interesting fix an issue that was causing explosive splash damage to be blocked when players didn't actually have cover okay this is also really big here gameplay added pop-up cup settings to default playlists so if i'm reading that correctly that means we now have the pop-up cup settings in our regular game modes. Uh, we're introducing a few larger changes into default Fortnite playlist as a test. We've seen these settings in pop-up cup results and more engaging fights and allowing players to gain more consistent rewards for the risk of engagement. Exactly. Thank you. Based on positive feedback received during these specific pop-up cups, we're implementing the following adjustments. 50 health or shield based on your health when elimination occurs, 50, 50, 50 materials dropped on elimination, and then the 500, 500 cap on mats. Our risk rate is increased by 40%. We'll be closely monitoring the feedback on this change. Play a couple matches and let us know what you think. So here's my take on this right here quickly. Um, this is good for the game. They had a mode, that siphon mode that they released, that limit time mode. It was super fun to play. It allowed skilled players to be aggressive and not be punished because someone RNG'd health or, you know, like if you get in a fight, the only way to get shields other than, you know, you have to find shields. The only way, you know, like, oh, it just, you felt good if you came out of a fight alive because you didn't have to worry about, oh, I got to heal up or I got to shield up. Maybe pop like a full pot or a mini or something like that, but you weren't coming out of there with two health more than likely. Um, you know, I have a feeling that there's going to be some complaint from the community on this change, and this is not a slight to anybody, but it's going to be the less skilled players and the more casual players are not going to like this change because they're not the ones playing the pop-up cups. The competitive and skilled players are the ones playing the pop-up cups and are the ones that enjoy this more. And I think this is a great change for the game. It allows people to be aggressive uh, early game, you don't have to struggle to find shields. If you find somebody, you can just push them. If you come across someone who's early game, who's got 200 health, that either means A, they were lucky enough to RNG shields, but they could have just been good enough to kill people. And you're not punished for not being able to find shields early game if you just get a couple kills. And that's the nice thing about it, because there's too much RNG, there's too much consumables, there's too much stuff in the loot pool right now of Fortnite that punishes players you know, you could drop at a very heavy looted place and walk out with no shields, and that's a really bad situation. Um, but yeah, so big change. I think it's a positive. The cap on materials is good. You get materials on elimination. They ha increase the harvest uh, rate as well. Big change. Very good. We'll see. I, I have a feeling the community, the majority of the community, the outspoken part of the community, will not like that change just from my guess because they're the more casual players that won't see the benefits of this versus someone who is a skilled and competitive player who will definitely see the benefits of this more. Remove the ability uh, for the X4 Stormwing uh, to break through structures and large objects. Small props will still be destroyed from direct hit on the Stormwing. Thank you so much. The Stormwing. I questioned it from the start. You just people just get in them and just run right through your builds, run through buildings. They have 
no, like, there was just no penalty to it other than it, the plane would eventually break and you'd take some damage. But it was just, it didn't make any sense. Um, I'm glad that they removed that. That's huge. Uh, changes to zip lines. Zip lines are now, uh, are now interact to engage, which means there's going to be a prop, uh, a, a prompt, sorry, to use the zip line. Uh, Zip lines grant fall damage immunity. Huge. Uh, zip, zip lines now have audio and visualizer icon. Um, uh, the damage immunity is huge because there's no re, no risk to take a zip line. If someone starts shooting you, you can just jump off. Which like it was really unfortunate. Like if someone starts spamming you on a zip line, you have to commit one way or another. So um, that's that's important. That's good. Um, so final circle adjustments increase the travel distance by 48%. Strength time has been increased from 45 seconds to 75. PC, Mac, and console players can now crouch while in edit mode. Game played, uh, gamepad players can assign this through custom uh, gamepad controls. Um, turbo building. Reduce the initial timer for turbo building from 0.15 to 0 0.05. Very good. Add the ability to swap the item in currently selected slot with a new item by holding interact instead of tapping. Um, added UI text to show players they're able to use swap, uh, not available on touch input. Okay. Um, another decent change here, floor traps will automatically build a floor piece if uh, for you if needed. Good. It's important. Uh, you must uh, have the required resources. Um, something with the Logitech and Razer mouses or peripherals or something like that. I'm not sure what that is in regards to. I don't play on PC. Definitely PC thing. Uh, sneaky snowmen will be destroyed if they fall from high distance. Stand on the head of a sneaky snowman to avoid fall damage. What? So you can throw a sneaky snowman down at your feet? To avoid... I had to think about that for a second. I, I guess what they're saying is you could throw a sneaky snowman down... I don't know what that means. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Remove the HUD bar from the minigun overheating mechanic. Adjust the distance of the bottle rocket sound indicators so they match the max distance of the sound effects. Added a bottle, rocks, bottle rocket sound indicator for the explosion of rockets. Uh, some bug fixes. Aim Assist Snap 2 adjustments. We've added a compounding time delay to the Aim Assist Snap 2 feature when spamming the ADS button. Each button pressed after the first will apply a time delay up to 5 seconds before the aim assist snap to effect is applied. We are making this change to prevent situations where players would spam the ADS button on enemies, which caused the crosshair to stay locked on target indefinitely. I am a controller player, obviously I play on PS4, most of you know that. I am super for this change. I think it's ridiculous that someone could just sit there and tap their ADS button and get auto-locked essentially throughout an entire engagement. It was something you need to be addressed. Um, it wasn't. It it was just. It was a crutch for people who couldn't aim. I'm just all I'm gonna say. Uh, we're making these changes to prevent situations. Okay, I already read that. This change could prevent the lock on mechanic from being abused while retaining the same aim assist feel. We'll be closely monitoring feedback about this change. Um, okay, fix an issue where battle rockets would not align to specific slope angles. Cozy campfire logs no longer block movement. Thank you. Prevented weapon auto reload from canceling emotes. Uh, cool. Fix an issue that allowed traps to trigger through lab tunnels walls and. Uh, Dusty Divot, interesting. Uh, fixed auto pickup not occurring when landing from skydiving. Fixed an issue where player with no traps would switch to build tool if they hit the button with quick traps. Fixed an issue where glider items could be triggered right after teleporting to Rift to Go, which would block subsequent skydiving. Um, fixed an issue that could that would block building beneath a mount turret. Uh, fixed an issue where snowmen placed on the map would appear invisible under the map. Okay. Uh, events, new tournament series, share the love, solo and duo available today through uh, February 24th. Players will complete across any four division tournaments, open division, prospect division, contender division, champion division, earning enough points during any nightly session to receive a pin and unlock the next highest division. Uh, it's a, just a new tournament. New tournament trios, one day cup, available on February 17th. Grab a couple of your best friends, join trios, one day cup, going from a fully open tournament to an intense final round with the best trios in a single day. Um, so tournaments can now take place across multiple rounds of players needing to earn a pin in order to unlock the next round. I like that format. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's pretty neat. Multiple tournaments are now able to be running at the same time. Cool. Like it. Reduce the maximum matchmaking time for tournaments from 5 minutes to 4 minutes. The value limits the amount of time a player can wait for a match in tournament before they create the best match possible at that time. Uh, increase the minimum amount of players for a tournament from 80 to 90. Good. Streamer mode can now be used during tournament play. 
I don't know why they removed that last patch. It just didn't make any sense to me, but good thing they brought it back. In-game leaderboards are now fully available in all regions for each tournament session. This can be accessed inside a tournament page by clicking on any tournament session. Cool. These are some changes that people have been asking for for a long time, uh, or more recently, and some things they, that you, the thing with Epic is they make these changes and you question it and, um, I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna get into it. Uh, audio, uh, add audio when squad mates ready up in the lobby, okay, um, Stats V2, the ability to track all of your play in one place and view it across all platforms. This includes the ability for mobile and Switch players to view their stats in games. Breaks up stats by each individual limited time mode. Players now receive pop-up prompt informing them if a player they recently reported has had action taken against their account. Sweet. Uh, when eliminated by storm, instead of saying you eliminated yourself, text says eliminated by the storm. Minor, but not bad. Improved look and implementation of bad network indicator and updated bad connection indicator UI to track bad or severe ping. Yellow indicates poor status, red indicates severe status, flashing red indicates drop signal. Slash commands have been improved to re-enable in chat windows. Uh, fix an issue that could switch off, where you could switch uh, between different tabs in the background if you were player feedback menu. Fix an issue removing map, uh, marker map icon on Mac. Uh, fixed battle pass info not displaying properly. Yada yada replay. Fix an issue causing weapon animations. Social gifting returns. Um, cool. Uh, and then some mobile stuff I'm not going to go over. Whew. 16 and a half minutes is <laughs> a long video. That's a lot of stuff, guys. I Thank you for sticking around and watching the whole thing. Uh, a lot of good changes. Um, I guess really the only questionable thing is why they vaulted grenades and brought clingers back. Um, who knows? Uh, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Lots, lots, lots of good things in this patch. Um, and I think this is a good sign. And I think, again, I, I, this is my opinion. Apex being as successful as it is, is a good thing for Fortnite. I'm going to make a video on that, and hopefully you guys will watch that and agree with me. Maybe you don't. Who knows? Uh, good for Fortnite. Good for Epic for making these changes. A lot of changes, I think, that are good that will help the, the, the health of the game going forward and the competitiveness of the game as well. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching. Like, comment, uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel, and um, I'll catch you guys all later. Have a good one.